a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, Just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. Whoever believes in Him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light, because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light, so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever leaves the truth comes to the light, so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord The cross brings forgiveness and healing. The fourth Sunday of Lent is referred to as the Laetare Sunday, or Sunday of Rejoicing, because redemption is near. The intro of the Mass begins with the antiphon, Rejoice, O Jerusalem, and come together, all you that love her. Rejoice with joy, you that have been in sorrow, that you may exalt and be filled from the breast of your consolation. On this day, the priest wears rose-colored vestments in the Mass. The first reading from the second book of Chronicles gives the reason for rejoicing. Cyrus, the king of Persia, has allowed the exiled Jews to go back to Judah, to Jerusalem, and rebuild the temple of the Lord. The kings, the priests, and the people of Judah have suffered enough after the Lord chastised them for their unfaithfulness by sending them to exile in Babylon. Even though they have sinned against the Lord, the Lord maintains His faithfulness love and mercy for his chosen people and uses the foreign king Cyrus as the instrument of his mercy. In the second reading, Paul writes of God's immeasurable kindness and grace. God, who is rich in mercy because of the great love he had for us, even when we were dead in our transgressions, brought us to life with Christ. Jesus is the face or incarnation of God's mercy. The Gospel speaks of the loving and merciful God who sends His only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him might not perish but might have eternal life. Jesus refers to the serpent lifted up in the desert. Moses mounts a bronze serpent upon a pole so that the Israelites, who have been beaten on account of their rebellion against God, may look at it and recover. The verb lift up is used for mount to imply Jesus' glorification. Jesus is exalted in glory at his cross and resurrection. His cross brings forgiveness and healing to everyone, just as the mountain-prone serpent did to the Israelites.